Hi, and welcome to the New South Wales Bureau of Crime Statistics and Research, Crime Tool. This application allows you to gain information about criminal incidents, victims and offenders in New South Wales local government areas, or LGAs, suburbs and postcodes, as recorded by the New South Wales Police. This tool is updated every three months. Today I'll be presenting a short tutorial on how to use this application. On the left hand side, you can choose different offences. There are over 60, many of which you can drill down into. At the top, you can search for a particular location. You can type in up to 10 suburbs or 10 postcodes in any one query. You can also type in local government areas. There is a drop down menu for you to choose the number of years of data that you wish to see. And then there is also a time slider bar, which allows you to easily view each 12 monthly map in succession. The time slider and the drop down menu for years work together. So here I've selected incidents of robbery and you can tell that by the map title here. You can see the rate map for this offence is here and the legend indicates that the darker the colour, the higher the rate or the worse the rate in those regions. So let's say you're interested in looking at robbery incidents for the specific local government areas of Parramatta and Blacktown. To do that, you just type in the regions, Parramatta, and the map automatically reorients to that area or you can click the map to choose an area. So for example, Blacktown. When you do this, the map again reorients and clicking the map, you get a little hover bubble, which gives you summary information about that region. I'll just close it now. In addition to this rate map, you can also see hotspot maps for certain offences by clicking the hotspot tab up here. If you want to see the actual data, which is used to make the maps, you just click the table button over here and it populates. The areas you've chosen will appear at the top of the list, along with New South Wales. Because we chose two years here, we've got a two year trend calculated automatically, and we've also got two years of count and rates for each of those years within those two years. If you prefer to see the da data graphically, you can do so clicking on the graph tab. Here we've got a trend graph for the robbery incidents in those two regions, and we've also got a column graph. Finally, we've got a pie graph for the, re the region that you chose most recently. In this case, it was Blacktown. And there are several options that you can use within the pie graphs. So we can look at weekend or weekday information. All of these panes can be moved. They can all be printed, saved and exported. And importantly, the maps, the data and the graphs all show the same information, just in a different way. So let's take a look at some advanced options now. We'll just clear all, so we go back to our default setting. And say we wanted to know about male offenders of alcohol-related assaults at licensed premises in the specific suburb of Paddington. To do this query, we simply select assaults, then we go down to our advanced options, and we wanted male offenders, so we go to offenders, and then choose the gender of male, we wanted the incidents to be alcohol related, so we choose that. And we wanted the incidents to be limited just to those on licensed premises, so we choose licensed premises. As you can see, with each selection I made, the map changed to reflect those selections. You can also see what you've chosen by the title up here on the top of the map. Now we wanted this limited though, just to Paddington. So we'll type Paddington in here and we'll select it and automatically the map reorients so that we can see Paddington. If you want the data, we do it just as we did before and we have the data for this particular category that we've chosen. If you want graphs, again, you can do that too. Say though, you wanted to save this search and make it a favorite of yours. You want to bookmark it for later on. You may wish to run the same thing in a week's time. You simply need to go to the bookmark tab over here and create a bookmark. You can call it whatever you want. So we'll call it male offenders assault Paddington. And then you just click the yes button and close it down. And then if we go back into bookmarks, there's our, our bookmark that we've just created. So that winds up our tutorial for today. Thank you very much for listening. And if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the Bureau.